What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're here to talk about NBA 2K20 Community Day. If you guys don't know what Community Day is, I'll tell you all about it. But you guys know the deal. It's currently 3,000 likes goal on this video. Make sure you guys knock that out the park. By the way, it is currently August 17th. So when you're watching this video, uh, make sure you remember that date. By the way, I want to talk to you guys about a giveaway. Um, I haven't done a giveaway on my YouTube channel in quite a while, um, simply because when I do do that, people say that some of those things are against terms of service and all of that, especially when you tell people to like do things on YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an Instagram giveaway. If you don't know what that means, that means I will have copies of NBA 2K20 for PlayStation 4 and for Xbox One. So what I need you to do right now is open up your Instagram app, type in iPod King Carter, and hit that follow button. Secondly, if you want to be in the running for this giveaway, if you want to make it easier for yourself, all you have to do is click the first link inside the description, or I'll probably pin it in the comment section. It's to my Gleam account. Basically, it's only like one step on there, which is follow me on Instagram and send your email in with that uh, Gleam account. Um, let's hop into the news. Just to clarify a few things for you guys real quick. If you don't know what Community Day is, it is basically a day that 2K has built where they actually bring in content creators, musicians, artists, actors, actresses, like all different kinds of people that actually play video games that have other like things going on. So 2K, this is like literally the biggest Community Day that I have ever seen. This is not the launch party. The launch party will probably happen later, like closer to launch. But this day in question, I seen maybe 30 to 40 creators, which I have never ever seen in my lifetime. Um, and that's due to the fact that 2K is actually getting a little bit better at noticing content creators and their worth. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, when I was in like, I guess you can call us the uh, the test subjects, the test phase, the like it was early on, it was probably like NBA 2K13 days, um, when 2K and Ronnie LD, you know, when everybody knows Ronnie and LD. That was back when, you know, it was unprecedented that a game would reach out to content creators that made content around their game for anything. You know what I mean? They used to call us fans and at some point, that paradigm shifted so basically they started up community days they started really really small um i think i put a picture up on like instagram or something like that i think it was me shakedown shake and be case B, qjb sub the gamer so, is somebody else i'm missing i'm missing somebody but i'm y'all see the picture on my instagram when y'all go there but basically um it started as a, a very very small construct group um a lot of news didn't leak at all around that time because you know we were scared to death and we were professional but now that it's like 2k has gotten so big it is now one of those things where when a leak happens it's like bruh where did it come from but it's hard to pinpoint where things come from because so many people are now involved with 2K. Most of the time, like my, maybe 98% of the time, the leaks are coming from like celebrities because they be on the Instagram and stuff like that and we just be sitting at home like, did he just show some NBA 2K20? So, um, I got invited to Community Day. I know that was mad weird. But I got invited to Community Day. Um, I hung out with a couple celebrities. I hung out with a lot of content creators. It was a dope vibe. Uh, we were, like, out in L.A. Yeah, I, I've been on the West Coast for, like, probably a week and a half. I don't even know why I'm up right now. It's literally, like, 649 over there. But you guys see the, the clock. So, yeah. Um, but basically, we went to Community Day. Um, we got a lot of things, um, a lot of information. We saw a lot of things. And in the next couple days, things are going to be rolling out. I got videos scheduled like all over the place. And it's going to give you guys a much more broad spectrum of how NBA 2K20 is. Um, and what I want to go over is a couple things that I put out on Twitter. Because I don't think that I broke it down fully to make people understand 
why I tweeted out these things. They were really, really good hot takes. And I want to talk to you guys about it. So let's hop into that. Oh, by the way, before we hop into the Twitter news, um, this little bad boy here has been servicing all over Twitter as well. Um, a lot of people have been posting pictures about this. Uh, basically, this is a hard drive. And you can tell from the logos that, uh, yeah, it's definitely some some good content. You guys won't be seeing too much more camera footage in the next couple days, so be ready for that. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the My Player Builder. I know that I made a video about attributes and how they will play out in NBA 2K20. That video did really, really good. But to give you guys a little bit more context, I basically said that we were trying out the My Player Builder, and the best thing about this builder and the demo in itself is you will be able to test out your player as a 99 overall in a demo for free like you don't have to spend money on a demo to figure out if you like that build you can do it all for free you can test out this build with the full like attributes and and, and badges and all of that in the demo as a 99 overall and that right there in itself is sick because we haven't ever had that for every demo or prelude that we have had from 2K, it's always been a rinse, wash, repeat, rinse, wash, repeat. Whereas though people were deleting their save game data and stuff like that, resetting their time clocks on their PlayStations and everything, trying to try new builds because 2K only lets you create one build every time the demo drops. So we were doing things we weren't supposed to do. A lot of people, players got mixed all up. Files didn't go to the cloud. All different kinds of things, all kinds of problems. But this time around, you get to create multiple builds, multiple positions, and try them all out at 99 overall. That's really dope. Let's hop into the next tweet. All right, so in this next tweet, basically I was uh, addressing dribbling. Um, to all my dribble guys out there, um, I know that you guys are gonna have to like i don't know y'all gonna need an angel um basically all the dribbling system has been revamped when 2k came up with their gameplay blog i basically touched on that in another video but their dribbling and everything the whole entire system literally has been revamped it does not play like 2k19 at all and honestly for a player like me it's perfect because since i'm not a dribble guy i usually use one or two moves to get past people it's really really dope and when mike wayne was talking about quick first step on twitter being able to see that in person you guys are going to be able to be like you know what like every single badge that mike wayne has talked about on twitter i literally need to focus on that badge especially if it's towards my play style so i want you guys to like scour mike wayne's twitter right now Make sure you see all the badges that he's talking about so that when the demo drops, you're able to see those badges firsthand and what they can do at their full potential. All right, now I told you guys the dribbling, like Mike Wang and them was saying, the dribbling is one to one. So, you know, when you're flicking that stick back and forth, I've seen Dazar talk about it. Like when you're flicking that stick back and forth, like you have to create your own chains. You know what I mean? Like you don't just click up on the stick and oh my god you're doing all these chain dribbles oh my god momentum momentum chain dribbling oh my god spin back up oh, you're not doing all that it's a one-to-one -one movement you have to figure that out for yourself but i've seen dribble guys do a little bit already but it's, it's mad different it's definitely mad different let's hop into the next tweet all right so this tweet right here got a lot of people upset um solely because it was something that a lot of people always thought that they were going to be able to create and do and you can't do it no more so basically i tweeted out that pure point forwards are gone they're gone so many people replied to this tweet this tweet got so much interaction but other people from the event said they're gone now there was one person that uh trolled me uh it was zach timmerman uh c hoops i don't know if you guys know who that is but basically in the replies i was like scrolling through my replies and zach was like say what with a question mark and i was like yo why he trolling me like that but there are other positions and builds and stuff like that at that height at that weight at that wingspan at that position that you may be able to create but I can't talk to you guys about what those actual build names and stuff are. I'll tell you guys in a few days. I have actual footage and stuff like that 
from that so you guys will be able to get a broad you know spectrum of like what those creations could possibly be who they could play like but yeah pure point forwards gg all right so this will be the last tweet that i'll talk about and uh if we do have a little bit of time i want to hop into that japan gameplay that uh came out earlier this week um actually just to show you guys like things that could possibly happen for you in nba 2k20 but basically i just put out a tweet saying nba 2k20 is not nba 2k19 nba 2k19 is not nba 2k20 for everything that you are thinking about like saying oh well the game because i hear this all the time people say the game is the same the game does this the game does that the game is the game when 2k18 came out we were like holy hell nba 2k18 is not nba 2k17 and a lot of us were upset that it wasn't because of online issues the way that the game played the direction everything like that and a lot of people were mad about 2K17 because it wasn't 2K16. And we were like, oh, it's the same. And then like a couple weeks later, oh my God, this ain't the same game. So every year the game changes. And NBA 2K19 was a positive run for us because a lot of people were like let down on 2K18. We were really upset. We didn't, we didn't like the vibe at all. But when NBA 2K19 dropped, literally, I can say this right now nba 2k19 was probably the most fun that i've had on 2k in probably three to four years and the reason that i say that is when 2k15 dropped like we was in we was inside the wreck a lot 2k16 it was more like park heavy you know what i mean and with me i've always played with fans i've always played with subscribers i've always played with followers so i don't know what it's really like to play on a comp team and constantly play comp all day long inside Annie up stage high rollers all of that i didn't know any of that i was just at sunset beach playing with my fans playing with viewers from my streams so i don't really know what it's like to play with a comp team comp games all day long but when nba 2k19 came out i still play with fans a little bit which was cool but I played with a lot more content creators and they were showing me like this is the way that you play and this is like you have to have like a set set of people that you play with that you can call on the drop of a dom and they'll always be there they're good at the game they'll carry you you'll carry them you'll be able to make certain type of videos the fans will end up getting to know their names and that's when Cell Squad came about now the Cell Squad came about a little bit later into the year but you have uh, me X Chase Money, Ken, Raunchy, Trey, Ricky, Rambo, Barry, uh, freaking Mark, if Mark ever plays with anybody, but uh, it's basically a set of guys that I know that I game with for years and all crazy last year that we played a game a lot together, like a lot, a lot. And some of us may play Park, we're a little bit more competitive. Like me and Raunchy, we're very competitive on twos. Me and Ken are somewhat competitive on twos. Uh, if me and Chase play twos, it's a joke fest the whole entire time. Same thing with Trey, same thing with Ricky. If I play with Ken and Raunchy on threes, mad competitive. If I play with Chase and Trey on threes, it's a joke fest. If I play with Ricky and Chase, I don't even think we're going to make it. I don't even think we're going to score eight points. But it's just it's just like how hilarious some of our videos can be and how competitive some of our videos can be. So this is the squad that I'll be playing with mainly all year long, seeing as though that we're all going to be chasing this whole 99 overall. And I can say, like I told you guys, NBA 2K19 is not NBA 2K20. NBA 2K20 is not NBA 2K19. So do not expect to know everything about the game when the game drops and please i know y'all gonna be tweeting me and hit me up on instagram but once the demo and everything drops we can get into like a whole bunch of crazy stuff man but let's hop into a little bit of that japan gameplay i just want to show you guys one clip of a freaking monster a beast john wall check out this clip right here let me know what you guys think about this clip in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video this is our pocket Carter signing out. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.